today I'm doing a demonstration with Derwent's Line Painter Pens, uh, which are a pigment-based paint pen uh, with a fine Japanese nib. Uh, the advantage of these pens is that they, they have a strong colour pigment, um, they're opaque and they can be used both wet media and dry media as well. I'm going to do a few demonstrations showing the versatility of the pens and how they can be used blending colours, uh, overlaying colours, um, but also use quite expressively uh, flicking the paint off the nib of the pens and blowing some of the, some of the drop paint across the page. Uh, one of the advantages when you're, sort of, you're working with a fine pen is even, the, even though the nib is fine already starting off, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's well under a millimetre in size, is that with a, a little bit of rotation of the nib you're able to create an even finer line um, you know, just so you can bring it down to a real kind of hairline width by tilting the, the pen at an angle uh, and this allows you to, to you know, sort of get a quite a nice expressive and varied and varied line which is, uh, which is really delicate yet has that you know, bright colour and opaque feel. Okay, so one of the main advantages of the pigment pen is being able to blend uh, colours together. If you lay down with a deep turquoise colour um, while the paint is still wet, start drawing with a lighter colour over the top. Uh, the pen will take on the colour of the of the wet paint underneath, and gradually uh, it will move until it until it returns to its uh, until it returns to its original colour. And you'll get a very very smooth blend of flat colour. Obviously, when the when the pigment is dry, uh, this allows you to work over the top without disturbing any of the colour underneath, which which also has a huge advantage. Now, when you when you prime these uh, line painter pens, you, you kind of push down gently on the nib to get the to get the colour to um, come to the uh, nib of the pen. If you if you kind of tap the pen, if you drop it from say an inch or so and just tap the pen gently on the surface, you'll find that it floods the nib with colour. Um, one of the advantages of this is that it allows you then to be quite expressive with the pen, either kind of you know, flicking action or, or even blowing some of the pigment from the nib of the pen will create kind of sp splatters of colour across the page. Uh, it's quite nice for you know just getting a bit of energy as well into the drawing. Uh, and you can really see as well how, how strong the pigment colour is then because you, you, you still end up with a very, very opaque paint. Because the um, the graphic pens are, are very opaque and the, and the pigment is strong, it allows you to work over darker colours um, with with any of the lighter colours from the range. So even like deep reds, you can put down a really really stark bright lemon yellow over the top, and um, there's no there's almost no translucency at all when the pens are used straight you know straight straight from the nib onto the page. So here we've drawn out a small kind of floral pattern um, and using the two different techniques of the pen, using this kind of wet blending technique over the top of already dried paint, it allows us to get quite a graphic feel. So we have a strong outline for each of the leaf shapes and then inside that if we start just laying down a little bit of blue at the, um, at the sort of stem and then extending that with the yellow pen, then we get this nice colour blend out to the tip of the leaf uh, where, it's, where it's then returned back to a, a really bright yellow colour. Another good advantage of these pens is that if you, if you want to go back and, and drop in a background colour between some really, really fine elements, uh, because you have such control, because the nib's so fine, it allows you to add a flat colour um, by sort of meticulously drawing in between each of these each of these elements as well so working quick enough the the paint has time to sort of dry really flat as well so again it has that kind of almost gouache like flatness uh, on the page um, but you can you can get that much more detail than you would normally be able to get with a brush if you're working over dark colors uh, and you want to get a extra bit of punch really to, to some of the some of the brighter colours there. If you work down just with white underneath and then allow that to dry and then work the fresh colours over the top there, you, you have even more contrast uh, between you know between that dark colour that's already laid down and then the colours you're building up over the top. It's also a it's also a nice technique as well as it kind of leaves feathers of the white around the lines that you've drawn so it just gives it an extra bit of punch.
So also, when, when you tap the nib on the page, and tap the nib from about an inch height, if you just keep repeatedly dropping the pen on the page, you'll, you'll, you'll end up building a small pool. As they build up, if you, you just give a sharp blast of air, you either blow or use a straw or something to then separate those colours. They're very sort of wet on the page, they move easily, uh, yet the colour is very intense and the, because the pigment is so strong. Uh, the Lime Painter pens are available in a range of 20 colours, which includes uh, a full spectrum and shades of grey and a black and a very opaque white pen as well, which is uh, incredibly useful, especially with it being such a fine nib.